Hi, and welcome to another Decred news update. A new major release of Decred is here, Decred version 2. Some of the key highlights are decentralized stake shuffle mixing, higher network throughput, lightweight client sync time reduced by around 50%, improved initial peer discovery, and various updates to the RPC server. This is a big deal because it officially decentralizes the mixing process and just makes Decred all around more robust and better. Mixing is coordinated by Decred full nodes instead of relying on a centralized server, something completely unique in the world of cryptocurrency. Furthermore, two additional patches were released to fix some small problems being had with finding peers for mixing. Some details include, transaction outputs with one confirmation may now be used as part of a mix, nodes now prefer to maintain at least one mixing capable outbound connection, peers will no longer potentially be improperly banned due to missing mixed messages, and improved mixing message availability during network propagation. And there's a new JSON RPC API method that can be used to query decentralized stake shuffle mixing messages. Keep in mind if you do not upgrade to Decred version 2, you will not be able to mix or buy mixed tickets. So upgrade as soon as possible to be a part of one of the most decentralized cryptocurrencies in existence. Upgrade by downloading the new version of Decrediton or whatever wallet software you normally use. And now looking at other development updates, the voting service provider software called VSPD has made a number of optimizations in conjunction with the Decred version 2 release. The DCRDEX, a peer-to-peer -peer atomic swap-based exchange, is gearing up for its version 1 release. This release will include stable coins running on the Layer 2 network Polygon, built-in market maker and arbitrage bots with an easy-to-use GUI, staking and privacy features on Decred right in the wallet, Firo and Dash support, and much more. There has been a number of improvements and optimizations recently, including improvements made to the BTC swap bond redemptions, the UI uses exchange assets for available markets on Wallet's view. The wallet has been rebranded to Bison Wallet. As you see, the DCR DEX symbol has been replaced with a blue bison. For testing the market maker, added a fake Binance USDC market, and added centralized exchange orders. More logging and a light refactoring for the market maker. UI fixes to transaction history. Implemented native notifications for Mac OS. Implemented purchasing mixed Decred staking tickets. For Litecoin, updated testnet seed peers and improved LTC wallet logging. The UI now properly displays blockchain fee information in the wallet. Added the popular stablecoin USDT on Polygon. Testnet can use the bison.exchange server. And currently being worked on is a bridge between USDC on Ethereum and Polygon. The test harness for initial Monero development has also been submitted, meaning XMR integration work has officially started. Bison Relay, an encrypted peer-to-peer -peer communications protocol on Lightning Network, has a new version 0.2 release, and all users should upgrade immediately. Mobile has seen a major redesign, especially for Android, improving usability and reducing CPU usage significantly. You can now get notifications on most platforms other than Windows. Choose and share your own avatar. It'll update automatically for your contacts. Scrolling is smoother, your position is saved, and you can easily create new messages or group chats. Chat bubbles are now prominent. There's also a light theme, confirmation dialogues, and the attachment widget has been modernized. Group chat messages and PDF rendering have been updated. Decred integration on the Atomic Swap Exchange basic swap is almost completed, with adapter signature swaps working on mainnet between Monero, Litecoin, and Particle. More testing is needed before the official release. The current version is available on the dev branch on GitHub for testing. Once all tests are passed, Decred will be officially added to basic swap and users will be able to update and enable it. Now let's look at Politea. The Hummingbot Miner campaign for DCR USDT on Binance passed with 74% voter approval, making for a 69% voter turnout. The purpose of this proposal is to run a campaign on the open source Hummingbot Miner platform in order to improve organic liquidity and trading activity on Binance for the DCR USDT pair. Liquidity mining incentivizes traders to run market maker bots in order to improve liquidity in return for rewards. Markets must be made under the 2% bid range. All payouts will be in Decred. The project is divided into two phases, integrating DCR into the payout system and then running a 12-week campaign with weekly rewards. The total cost is $21,600 paid in Decred, with funds released after the successful completion of the first phase. Upon completion, the campaign statistics will be reviewed. The Decred Arabia Communications and Content 2024 proposal has been submitted as well. This proposal aims to expand Decred's presence and engagement in Arabic-speaking regions through communications, educational content, and community events to enhance Decred's visibility and adoption. Key objectives include producing high-quality educational videos, actively participating in significant events, and creating an Arabic glossary to standardize blockchain terminology. 
The total ask is $18,500 paid in DCR and is led by community member INSAF, who has attended many events in person and led previous proposals. I created a video on how to set up a 24-7 DCR DEX client using Umbral. This is perfect for anyone looking to prepare themselves for the new Bison wallet release. We'll be using the Linux-based Umbral operating system, which offers a great UI for self-hosting software. If you have no interest in having to install a new operating system, you can purchase the Umbral Home. This device comes with the Umbral operating system already installed and is a plug and play solution. It just works right out of the box. You can even access your Umbral from your mobile device using this method, effectively bringing DCR DEX to your cell phone. Phoenix Green created a video about blockchain scaling solutions and trade-offs. To my knowledge, the first time blockchain technology had to deal with the transaction scaling issue was during the 2017 block size wars, which introduced the Bitcoin Cash hard fork. The reason for this hard fork was to introduce larger blocks so Bitcoin could process more transactions per second. This hard fork would have taken the original block size from 1 megabyte to 4 megabytes per block with the likelihood of this increasing further in the future as needed. The opposition to this hard fork highlighted the blockchain bloating that will be caused by increasing the block size. As scaling solutions are introduced, they typically run into one or more unavoidable trade-offs. These include centralization, lower security, blockchain bloat, inefficiencies, and reduced reliability. As a final note, the Lightning Network does have some performance features as a bundle aren't found in any of the other solutions I've researched, including extremely low blockchain bloat, the ability to process greater than 100,000 transactions per second, settlement times below one second, and low cost transaction fees of one atom or Satoshi per transaction. To further educate on the Decred version 2 release, we had on lead developer Dave Collins to give us more in-depth details. Uh, a pretty massive leap forward in terms of the ability to, to to mix without having uh, all kinds of potential issues that come from that. Uh, so, you know, one of the main ones, of course, is that you're going to get much higher uh, reliability in the sense that since you no longer have to worry about having servers, separate servers that are out there running it, uh, you're if as long as you're on the network, you're going to be able to mix because all of the nodes out there, it, and it actually uses the exact same mechanism as when you're sending transactions or you're sending blocks or all the way that the network syncs itself. Uh, it's the exact same principle here where the, the mixing takes place over that exact same network. So you, uh, what you can notice that for people that have um, maybe some uh, governments that uh, like say for example the great firewall of china things like that that don't that uh, make it difficult for people to, to speak to other servers out on the network you, you won't have any of that issue anymore because as long as you're connected to the decred network your all the information is flowing through the exact same channel so and of course the other big thing is the the robustness of it in the sense that there's not any kind of central point of failure or multiple central points of failure even if you have multiple servers set up anytime you have a centralized server then that server is, uh, can potentially be taken down. And so basically everyone running a, a Decred uh, version 2 node is assisting in this mixing, from what I understand correctly. Would, would you say that's correct? Correct. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, um, if you can kind of think of it the same way that whenever you're on the network, you see transactions from other people and then you forward those transactions onto the rest of the network and it kind of spreads out through the network and that's how everything communicates. It's the same thing except for now you have these mixed messages. But as I was mentioning, it's all... The, the the challenging part of the, the the kind of neat or the novel part of it all is that it's all happening despite it all happening in public and all these messages that are being trans uh, that are being relayed all around the network by everybody you, nobody can tell what's going on thanks for watching this decred news update be sure to check out decred.org to learn more